Hey everyone! Welcome to this video series about Vim Backup for AWS. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to deploy Vim Backup for AWS from the AWS Marketplace with a CloudFormation template. Before we begin, it's important to note that Vim recommends deploying the Vim Backup for AWS appliance in a separate account from your production environment. By keeping your backup data logically separated, you ensure that your backups remain secure, accessible, and ready for seamless restore and recovery operations, even in the event of a security breach or compromise in your production account. So let's get started. To start, log in into your AWS account and in the search bar type Vim AWS. Here you go to the marketplace and you'll find all the available editions. You can choose the paid edition, the free edition, the free trial and bring your own license edition. And the free version and the bring your own license version, they both allow you to back up up to 10 instances with full functionalities and without any costs. So I recommend you deploy the free trial and bring your own license because you can try it for free. And then if you want to go ahead and proceed with Vim, you just have to purchase a standalone license or integrate it with your Vim backup and replication server. For this tutorial, I'll pick the free edition. This page provides you with a lot of information and I encourage you to go through it. Here you can see an estimation of the costs of deploying the appliance on an Amazon EC2 instance we recommend you to use the T3 medium instance type for optimal performance. To start, we'll click here on continue to subscribe. I have already subscribed to the software, but if it's your first time, you'll see here a license agreement. You just have to accept it and you go back to this page. So we'll click here, continue to configuration. Here, in the Fulfillment option, in this drop-down list, we have two options. We can choose the CloudFormation template or we can choose to deploy with an Amazon machine image. I'll choose the CloudFormation template and I'll create another video for the Amazon machine image. Next, we have the option to deploy the appliance in an existing VPC or a new VPC. I'm going to pick the existing VPC. Also, we can choose the software version, this is the latest, and choose the region where we want to deploy the appliance. I'm going to pick US East North Virginia. Then we'll click continue to launch. Here we'll pick again launch cloud formation and click launch. Now we have a configuration wizard to go through the deployment parameters. Since we opted to deploy Vim Backup for AWS via CloudFormation template, the stack template settings are already predefined by Vim Backup for AWS and cannot change. We'll click Next. Now we'll start by giving the stack a name. Then we select the instance type for the appliance. I'm going to leave T3 medium and a key pair for authentication purposes. Keep in mind that if you lose your PM file, it will be very hard to retrieve it. After that, you can assign an elastic IP address to the backup appliance. I'm going to leave it false and you have to specify the IP address ranges from which you want to access the Vim Backup for AWS web interface. I'm going to let all IP addresses access my appliance, but this is not a good practice. But since it's just a demo, it's okay, but it's not recommended for production environments. Finally, we have to specify the VPC and the subnet where we want to deploy the appliance. Click Next. At the Configuration Stack Options tab of the wizard, you can specify AWS tags, IEM role permissions, and there are some additional settings, but I'll just leave the default ones. 
click on next. Now, carefully review the configuration settings you've chosen. And if everything looks good, you can scroll down and acknowledge that CloudFormation might create IAM resources and click Submit. This process usually takes around five minutes, depending on the size and complexity of your deployment. So I'm going to pause and resume once the deployment is complete. All right, the stack creation has been completed and the appliance deployed. So let's head to the EC2 console. Let's click Instances. And here you can see the instance running the Vim Backup for AWS Appliance. Let's click on it. To access the Vim Backup for AWS Appliance interface, click on this public IP address. The web browser may display a warning notifying that the connection isn't trusted, but it's okay. You can just go ahead, click Advanced and proceed or you can replace the TLS certificate that is currently used to secure the traffic between the browser and the backup appliance. Let's accept the agreements. Click Accept. And we have to provide the instance ID of our Vim backup for AWS appliance. Let's copy and paste it. Now we have to create a username and password for the default account. With the same credentials, we can log in to the Vim Backup for AWS Appliance. Congratulations! You've successfully deployed Vim Backup for AWS from the AWS Marketplace with a CloudFormation template. Now, proceed to the next video to start the configuration settings. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please feel free to leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you soon!